Hi everyone, this is Kemal with Thrive Mushrooms. We are from Kenkeki. We grow gourmet mushrooms and mushrooms like oyster, lion's mane, shiitake, and some other varieties of oyster mushrooms like black pearl. Uh, today I want to talk to you about lion's mane mushrooms. Uh, I made a small video about oyster mushrooms. I wasn't able to, you know, talk about everything, but it was like the main things that I would consider. Lion's mane is uh, in regards to uh, fruiting temperatures uh, and like colonization temperatures. So in regards to colonization, uh, lion's mane is like oyster mushroom. So from 70 all the way up to like 75 degrees, it would be uh, nicely colonized if it is not contaminated. And uh, in regards to fruiting, um, Lion's mane's fruit from like 50s all the way up to 75, maybe like 78. And uh, I want to show you some lion's mane's that I have from my uh, grow room. This is a bag of lion's mane. Um, as you see, it is like white, yellowish, and some brown. So this is a colonized bag. Uh, you don't have these uh, color variants in oyster mushrooms. Oysters is like, you know, totally around the same color. But lion's mane is, you can see uh, the brown, the tones of brown. Uh, and, you know, from inside of the bag, it wants to fruit. And as you see, this is the... This is the actually fruit, so this this wants to go uh, to the fruiting room. And this is the grain spawn of lion's mane. As you see here, like solid, you know. However, in here, it is not solid, it is wispy. So, uh, like basically looking at these two, you see similarities. It is not fully 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 one color you can see color changes I'm going to upload these on Etsy by the way yes yeah, so lion's mane mushrooms they taste like lobster um, and uh, to me when you saute it tastes very good and uh, many people don't know this mushroom yet but uh, the people who know it, love it a lot. Um, recently, the prices have decreased a lot because of the, you know, like big companies. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a very healthy mushroom. It has many things to do with the brain research, uh, cognitive uh, research. Uh, it boosts uh, the nerve system and it gives you, you know, lots of energy uh, in terms of thinking and uh, like, I had a couple times, uh, you know, taking the powder before I sleep and uh, it made me uh, focus on something and I couldn't sleep for like, you know, six, seven hours. And I remember sleeping around 4 a.m. But uh, so my 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 reason uh, making this video was uh, the growing conditions of lion's mane. So just like oyster, it's like, you know, uh, it wants fresh air. Uh, it wants uh, light. Uh, and, uh, but one thing is, I think, uh, like discernible, important, uh, it is the, uh, climate. So it needs to be cool for the lion's mane, uh, to grow and to be dense. Otherwise, uh, when it is warmer, uh, they, they don't like it a lot. So they, they tend to turn to yellowish colors. Uh, I think it's because of bacterial, uh, contamination issues but uh, they are very good uh, in terms of uh, the cold weathers i would say 50 55 would be awesome for them and uh, just like oyster mushrooms 
light light is like 12 hours on and off white light is fine and uh you know you wanna you know uh put an exhaust fan uh whether you grow in a, a tent uh in a like garage or something so you know uh there needs to be a fresh air coming and there needs to be uh, CO2 going because these mushrooms, you know, convert uh, the substrate and uh, take out CO2. Uh, so yeah, just like just like we human, we get the oxygen and we give CO2 outside, and the mushrooms do the same thing, but the plants do the different thing. You know, they do just the opposite. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, like my video. And uh, I will upload more uh, videos about uh, mushrooms. Thank you.